And the rescue of that American mother and her family held hostage by the Taliban for five years. They have now left Pakistan. And our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, has an exclusive interview with her parents. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, George. The American mom and her three children are free this morning, but her husband has disrupted plans for them to be on their way home to the U.S., refusing to let his family board an American military aircraft, instead taking them to Canada. Caitlin Coleman was seven months pregnant when she and her husband were kidnapped while on what they called a hiking vacation in Afghanistan. I am prisoner of the Taliban. Over five years of captivity, she gave birth to three children who became America's littlest hostages. On one of her hostage tapes, she said the Taliban was threatening to execute them. They are willing to kill us, willing to kill women, to kill children. To kill whomever. And hostage videos over the years showed their plight worsening, subjected to mistreatment and physical abuse. My children have seen their mother defile. And the ordeal took its toll on her parents in Stewartstown, Pennsylvania. This morning, Linda Coleman tells ABC News about that first phone call with her freed daughter. It was incredible, you know. I've been waiting to hear that voice for so long and then to hear her voice and have it sound exactly like the last time I talked to her. But Jim Coleman says he remains angry at his daughter's husband for taking her to Afghanistan in the first place. What I can say is, you know, taking your pregnant wife to a very dangerous place, to me and, and the kind of person that I am, it, it's unconscionable. And he says he cannot understand why his son-in-law refused to let the family fly out of Pakistan on a U.S. military aircraft. I don't know what five years in captivity would do to somebody, but if it were me and I saw, you know, a U.S. aircraft and U.S. soldiers, I'd be running for it. New details of the Pakistani military mission reveal the top secret operation in a mountainous area near the border with Afghanistan was based on intelligence provided by the U.S. Pakistan was recently accused by President Trump of giving safe haven to terrorists. But Thursday, the president praised Pakistan and thanked them. They worked very hard on this, and I believe they're starting to respect the United States again. Caitlin Coleman's father says President Trump does deserve great credit for his daughter's release, but he says he can't understand why his son-in-law is now taking the family to Canada and not the U.S., after all the U.S. did to get them free. And, George, we've learned they're on their way to Toronto now. Yeah, they have left Pakistan. We also have some news on the case of Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. He was held by the Taliban for five years as well, charged with desertion, plead guilty on Monday? Yes, he'll plead guilty on Monday, and we'll have an exclusive TV interview with him here on GMA on Monday morning. Okay, Brian Ross.